Isaiah chapter 58 speaks about the kind of fasting God is pleased and the kind of fasting God is not pleased. When you read uh, verse 1, a uh, prophet prophesies, he shouted loud, do not hold back, raise your voice like a trumpet, declare to my people about their rebellion and the descendant of Jacob about their sins. For day after day they seek me out, they seem to be eager to know my ways, as if they were a nation that wanted to do what is right. Remember the word, as if they were a nation that wanted to do what is right. And has not forsaken the commands of God. They ask me for just decision. They seem to be eager to come near them, uh, come near to God. And they complain, say, we have fasted. They say, but you have not taken notice of it. We have humbled ourselves, but you have not taken a notice of it. Yet on the day of faith, then God says to them, yet on the day of fasting, you do not do as you please. You exploit all your workers. Your fasting ends with the quarreling and strife and striking each other with the wicked fist. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Is it the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for people to humble themselves. Is it only for bowing one's head like a reed or for lying in sackcloth and ashes? Is that a fast? Is that what you call a fast? An acceptable day of the Lord? Then he said, Is not the kind of fast I have chosen to lose the chains of injustice, untie the cords of yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not sharing the food with the hungry? and to provide the poor wanderer with a shelter. When you see naked, clothe them, and do not turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like a down, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be a rear guard. Then you will call, and I will answer. You will cry for help. I will say, here I am. Now when you read this first nine, eight verses, God speaks about an issue God has with his people. And starting, say, God said, shout aloud, cry, tell them the top of their voice about the rebellion, about the sin they have. Now what are the sin and rebellion? And if you read the further line, they say, uh, God said, they are fasted, they are seeking my ways, they are acting as if they have no problem, they have never done any mistake. They act as if they are the people who wanted to please God. I'll read it for you. They, are, they, are, they behave as if they are a nation that has not forsaken God. They behave like as a nation who wanted to do as if right. They seek me, they fast me, but it's all just superficial. They are doing their fasting as a ritual. They put on a humility and sackcloth, all these things, only for a few days to get through the fasting, but inside they are the same. So then God says, is this the kind of fasting that I have chosen? That you humble yourself, you uh, deny food and, uh, and uh, you humble yourself and you say, God, why have you noticed? God said, the reason I haven't noticed your fasting is that though you don't eat food, neither you don't do any good. He said, in your fasting time, you exploit your workers, you, your fasting end in strife and quarreling, your bitterness and anger and jealousy, all the sin problem inside of you is not gone. And then you are saying you are fasting. God said, is it the kind of fast I have chosen? That for a few days you pretend as you are humble and you are seeking God. You behave as if you are all out for God. But inside you haven't changed. Listen my friend, 
Fasting is a time of soul searching. Fasting is a time to turn away from your wickedness. Once for all, not for few days. Fasting is a time you're asking God to give you strength, asking God for his presence to battle, to fight all the evil nature that's living in you. Fasting is a time to untie the bondages. Fasting is a time to let go. Fasting also is a time to help the poor, people who are in need. Some of you are fasting, very good. The money that you save, you have not spent because of your fasting, give that money for God's work or give it to some poor people. A person like me, normal days you go drinking a coffee, one coffee is 150 rupees. Or maybe you have a habit of going out to eat. You may pay a bill of one or two thousand rupees, but you, because you're fasting, you're not going out for a meal. You're not buying chicken or fish or beef, all these expensive food things. You're only having it rice and dal. How much money you put aside, give that money for God's work, or oh, somebody who's poor. That's the kind of fasting God is placed. Fasting is not a time to pretend as you change. Fasting is the time you're really asking God, I want to change. Even this fasting, I'm, on, I'm asking God, change my heart to God. There are areas in my life I need to change. I'm asking God to change. Now then he says, if you do the right kind of fasting, if you do the right kind of fasting, then your light will break forth like a noonday. Your healing will quickly appear. Your righteousness will go before you. Then you will call and the Lord will answer you. You will cry for help. God will turn up and help you. So a true fasting makes miracles in our lives. Prophet said, if you fast in the right way, then your day will be like a bright day, like a new one. You know, it's just bright for God's blessing just come forth and you will get your healing so quickly and your righteousness will go before you people know you by Jesus name and you will call and God will answer and you'll cry for help then the Lord will say here I am so the kind of fasting that God is pleased is the kind of fasting that you do with the intention of changing yourself. Fasting is not a time to pretend, hold on to your wickedness and bitterness and jealousy and enmity and all evil nature. Then you are fasting outward and inside you have not changed at all. You are not faithful in giving your tithes. You are not faithful in helping the poor. You are not faithful in preaching the gospel. You are not faithful in reading the Bible or following Jesus. And you fast. I'll God say, I am disgusted with your fasting. I am not pleased. Then you say, God, why have we fasted and you didn't took notice? Why have we humbled and you didn't took notice? You didn't do anything for us. The Lord said, because your fasting is hypocritical. You fasted, but you didn't change inside. You pretend as humble like a bulrush. But in reality, you are still proud. You are still holding on to your sin. Then God said, this is the kind of fasting I choose. You let go your press. You untie the, bo the yoke of bondage and you, you lend your money, you lend your hands to the poor and needy and you openly come to God and say, God, I want to change from inside out. Then God said, then your light will shine for the, like a noonday. Your healing will come quickly and your righteousness will go ahead of you. Then you will call me, I will answer. Then you will seek me, then I will say, here I am. So I want to challenge you, take serious, fast with the brokenness in your heart. Let God come in your heart, bring a change from inside out, that you will be a kind of person whom God wants you to be. God bless you.